Hey everybody, just wanted to give a real quick update. I am still definitely doing the giveaways. I've just been extremely busy and haven't had time to produce any type of video explaining it. So that will be coming up very soon. Don't worry, I'm definitely still giving away those two robot vacuums. And uh, hopefully enjoy this video. is going on everybody how you doing making a little bit more progress down here a little bit at a time and it is a lot of work but once it's done it's going to be awesome so this is all the wood flooring i have so it's going to be a rather small wood floor section but we'll get a general idea of how well it's going to clean all these robot vacuums and then i was thinking about i got the tile down here finally Think about doing the tile basically from there to there. And then we'll have quite a bit of extra space. I have a couple of runners, carpet runners, and they're, they vary in thickness. I have a couple of shag carpets and then a couple of just other, not quite shag, but still kind of thick. So maybe I could roll those out there to finish this off. Um, I didn't want to put in another one of these here, but I pretty much have to because, well, one, that just looks bad. And then two, stuff's gonna get stuck down in there. So I have to glue down one more of these in between there for another transition. I should be okay on the transition from the tile to the wood, but I might throw another one there and uh, yeah, so definitely slow progress. I apologize for that, but it's actually a lot more work than I expected. I got all the two by fours down here, which I'm gonna do a perimeter around the entire section. I'm thinking about painting them white on the inside so it looks more like a, a normal room wood with baseboards. Let me know in the comments if you think I should paint these white or you think they're fine, just the two by four color to wood color. And then the tile, I have just mixed match tile, but they're all 12 by 24. Just my ideas right now. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. All right, another real quick update. I got some tile installed. Doesn't look the best, but it was a pain in the A. And I will never try to install tile again, but there's how it looks. I used just some extra tile we had at the office, plus the different colors would be kind of good to show up at whatever debris we're putting down for all these tests. So as you can see, the back ones are grouted. Then these I left ungrouted because I wanted to fill in the gaps with like um, pepper, salt, sand, something small that a vacuum would be able to suck up as it goes over and seeing which one has the best suction power. And we'll be able to tell by how much it actually sucks out of all these gaps. A little bit wider gaps over there, real wide gap there. Rather than grounding that, I thought that was a good idea just to go ahead and use these as that gapping system as we were gonna do. So once again, originally I was gonna put down this wood floor. That's also kind of turning out to be a pain in the butt and I don't have a lot of it. So I'm not gonna use that no more. I'm gonna use this vinyl type flooring that I got from the office as well. Just essentially, it's gonna be the same thing. We're just seeing how well it does on a hard pickup. So this doesn't have any type of sticky back, so I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of Gorilla Glue spray like I did for under here, and it's gonna be plenty enough to hold it down. That way I'm not getting my entire floor down here real sticky. So that's gonna pretty much finish off this whole room. So I'm gonna move this put that all the way back to the wall and line it up with this. And then I'll have to take these two by fours and border everything out. I am gonna go ahead and paint these white. I think that's gonna look better overall. So you have a white board going around the entire perimeter of this setup. I don't wanna cut any tile, so I just went around here. So the white board will go like this and then all the way down. And then during some of the tests, I'll probably also throw down some 
some uh, runners, different height rugs, um, maybe some shag rugs, see if any robot can handle a shag rug, which a lot of it probably won't. Another reason I'm not using this, because it's on the ground, the humidity or whatever is making it curl up a little bit, so it would just been a nightmare. So anyways, guys, what do you think? We're getting there. Once again, we have real thick carpet, medium, lightweight carpet, carpet pads, tile, and then essentially a hardwood flat floor. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm on this hardwood floor, I'm probably gonna do a mopping section too. So during the mopping test, I'll get a board that'll you know cut this off and then we'll have all my mopping robots see how well it cleans tile, this hardwood floor. And then next to that, I'm gonna get some of those white, that big white four by eight sheets, and we'll see how well it cleans that too. So I think it's gonna be a really good test area. Definitely a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. So if you don't mind, smash that like button, subscribe. It's really gonna give us a lot of information whenever we test these robot vacuums and mops. So we'll see in one test how well it does on pretty much every single surface. All right, guys, well, that's it for now. Um, my next upload about this will be when it's completely done. And we'll talk about how we should do the test. Um, I'm thinking we can weigh out a bunch of debris, maybe like a pound of, of mixed stuff and spread it all over this entire area. And then when the vacuums are done, we'll see if how much of that pound it picked up. Um, something like that. And we'll decide. Let me know in the comments because I want to do what you guys want to do as well. Let me know what kind of debris you want me to throw down. If you want me to do hair, a bunch of other stuff. Just let me know. And this is all for you guys. So, All right. We got the floor down. I just threw it down as easy as possible. I wasn't going to take the time to cut each one's in half and make it look fancy. Just... It's going to do the same purpose whether it looks good or not, but it looks cool nonetheless. Hopefully it sticks well. Let it dry overnight. And then I'm going to paint all these 2x4s, run them all the way around. And then this is pretty much going to be done. So let me know down in the comments, guys, what vacuum you want You want to see first do this test. Kind of, kind of think in the Roomba S9 Plus, but I'll do whatever the majority of you want to see first. So what do you guys think? Like I said, tile job isn't great, but that doesn't really matter because it's just for this testing purposes, but everything else I think looks pretty good. Once I get it all cleaned up, I think this is gonna be a pretty cool testing area. If you guys think of anything that I left out or you wanna see in this, please let me know. And like I said, the next video, this will be 100% complete and we'll start the testing. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the ride. Have a great night. See you.